Hey guys, it's me. As you know, I just did a Mario Kart video, and in my Mario Kart video, I started talking about uh, the Sega CD and its uh, scaling and rotation uh, hardware and uh, ability. And uh, you know, talking about Mario Kart and Sega CD uh, scaling in one sentence uh, reminds me of this game. This is BC Racers for the Sega CD. Uh, this game was made by Core Designs and uh, it was released in 1993 for the Sega CD, 3DO, and I believe the 32X as well. I have never seen the 32X version, but but anyways, uh, this game is a racing game uh, for the Sega CD, and uh, it does show off uh, some of the little known hardware abilities of the Sega CD, so here you go. So here we go, Sega CD game loading up. <coughs> There's the core. <laughs> Looks really cheesy. A Sega game. Yeah, this video is just kind of lame overall. And here's your character select. Uh, I don't really know what the differences are, major major differences are anyways between characters, but the game and all its glory. As you can see it's a uh, full rotation scaling game. All the characters are hardware scaled I believe as far as I know, I would imagine. And they do have a smoothness to them that you don't quite see in Mario Kart as you get closer and closer to those characters. Um, you know, they don't jump to the next uh, size, jump to the next size, jump to the next size. They just gradually get ever so slightly larger and larger and larger, and that's where you can really see the difference. Uh, you know, looking at the character beside us right now, you can see it. Very smooth scaling. Uh, the music's nothing special. The game, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's okay, but it's certainly no Mario Kart killer. It's kind of boring. You don't have any objects that you can throw or get hit by. Um, basically, you have an, you can attack, and then your character on the right side of the bike can attack. Um, so A attacks to the left, which makes sense, and C attacks to the right, which makes sense. So kind of neat the way they did the controls with your attacking to the left or right. Um, kind of reminds you of Road Rash, basically. All you can do is, like, you know, punch or kick or whatever. But, you know, it would certainly be a lot funner with, um, you know, objects that you could throw, like Mario Kart, but I guess they didn't want to completely uh, copy the way you play Mario Kart, but they should have. Now you get nitrous, basically, it's equivalent to nitrous, whatever, some sort of a boost uh, with these ends every time you finish a lap. Can't figure out how to use that, so yeah. I pressed all the buttons, it doesn't seem to work. And there you go, there's level one done. Today.
Thank you. And here's level two. At night, with our headlight on. Which is rather annoying. This, uh, the headlight effect, but... <laughs> A lot for action there. But anyways, you know, this game definitely shows, you know, potential of a Sega CD. I mean, it was it was so easy to just rip off a full motion video game at the time, and, you know, it was awe-inspiring to see at the time, too. So, I mean, these full motion video games that all came out at once, I'm sure they all sold at once, too. Um, there wasn't a lot of Sega CD games that really were just real games and took advantage of the, the hardware that was there. Um, but this is definitely one of them. There are others. Uh, I'll definitely be reviewing them as I've recently got my hands on a whole bunch of Sega CD games. So there will be more Sega CD game reviews uh, coming up, I can assure you that. Just wish, if you could throw stuff in this game, oh man, it, it would be, oh, it would be a great game. I mean, it's, it's alright, it's fun, don't get me wrong. It would, if I knew how to use nitrous, that would help. I just cannot figure out how to use the nitrous. And I don't get this bike energy low, I, I'm guessing that's like every time you get hit, your bike takes damage. Okay, I see. Yeah, every time you get hit, looks like your bike takes damage. Which, of course, makes sense because there's punching and kicking, so that's the point of your character. Uh, and there you go. Level 2 done. If only more games took advantage of this, you know? I would have loved to see, like, a first-person shooter. I think there's one on the Sega CD, if I recall, but why didn't we get Wolfenstein? That would have just been great. But anyways, uh, I'll see you again with more Sega CD games.